Another big story, the state budget tonight and how your taxpayer money is being put to use. Lawmakers and Governor Hobbs have until the end of June to try to figure out how to erase a massive deficit. ABC 15's Rachel Louise Just and Garrett Archer teaming up tonight for new reporting on the state's possible solution to balance the budget. Arizona lawmakers have until June 30th to agree on and vote through a budget that counts for the fact that we have a $1.7 billion budget deficit. Not much to see around the Capitol grounds this Monday afternoon. Lawmakers aren't in session. They've only been here four days over the last month, but that doesn't mean nothing is happening. Governor Katie Hobbs is staying optimistic about a budget timeline. Relatively soon, not too much longer. But keeping details tight last week. How are those conversations going with uh, the Senate and the House? They are going. The budget will have to account for that massive deficit, and sources at the Capitol tell me instead of massive cuts, lawmakers and Hobbs may decide to dip into the state's rainy day fund and defer construction, more of a band-aid approach. The state's rainy day fund currently has $1.5 billion in it. Senator John Cavanaugh, part of the Senate Appropriations Committee, telling me last week there likely will be no cuts to corrections or education, and there may even be increases in funding for the border and law enforcement. For more on previous budgets and how we got here, we look to our data analyst, Garrett Archer. State government spending for last year's budget was just under $18 billion. A little more than half of all state spending goes to education, and the lion's share of that goes through K through 12. So the second largest expense, about 15%, goes to access and the health department. Next up, 14% are all the agency budgets. This is followed by 10% for public safety and corrections. And final, uh, a final 10% goes to social assistance. As of this month, the legislature is dealing with $1.7 billion in deficit. Here is how that breaks down. The budget year we are in now is currently underwater about $650 million. If the legislature were to simply carry over this year's budget to the next year, it would be in the hole about $676 million. That's a $1.3 billion uh, deficit combined with about $400 million uh, of one-time expenditures scheduled for next fiscal year. So a big reason for this deficit is lower revenue uh, collections. Arizona gets most of its money from sales taxes as well as the individual and corporate income taxes. So far this year, sales taxes are up about $200 million compared to last year. Corporate income taxes started off the year higher but have dropped to about $80 million less than last year. Uh, it's income taxes, though, with the biggest drop. Uh, and a drop that was expected due to the passage of the flat tax. Collections hit a floor in January, uh, down almost a $1 billion, but a steady climb since. And now income tax collections are down just about $600 million. But this chart does not include April yet, so we will see what the end of the tax season does to it. Rachel? Some Democrats have suggested that Republicans could try to slow the budget process as a response to them losing efforts to stop a repeal of the 1864 abortion ban. They, they use uh, anything at their, at their disposal. So Republican leaders weren't available for interviews on Monday, but the Senate Republican spokesperson tells me those claims are false, saying, quote, Republicans have budget meetings scheduled this week and have a goal of finalizing the budget by the end of the month. This is a process that happens almost completely out of sight, but we'll continue to keep you updated on what's happening here at the Capitol. For ABC 15's political team, I'm Rachel Louise Just.